Professor Sen, uh, the words you've actually used, uh, for example, speaking uh, to the Indian Express, you said that the decision by the Prime Minister and the government was despotic. You used the word authoritarian. Now, you could have two views on, on the decision, but why, why this particular choice of words? Why such strong words? Well, uh, it's uh, despotic in the sense that if a government promises, as any promissory note does, that when given to us, we will give you this amount of compensation for it. It's a promissory note. To break such a promise is a despotic action. Now, you know, I'm not a great admirer of capitalism, uh, as probably people uh, who have read any of my writings would know. On the other hand, capitalism has had many successes, and the successes have come from having a trust in business. And, and, my, and the roots of the trust is the faith in the promissory note. I promise to pay you this amount. Suddenly the government says, well, we did promise, but we are not going to pay you that amount. Well, that's a despotic action. Now, people like Adam Smith, the founder of modern economics, spent a lot of time discussing why <coughs> trust is the central uh, thing to build up in having an exchange economy, making capitalism as a success. He also saw limitations of capitalism, but to the extent that capitalism is a success, it depends on trust. Now, it goes against trust altogether here. Now, one of the things to recognize here, Baka, is a, a, a relatively positive effect that some people have commented on uh, of, uh, of making money illegal, and these are relatively um, uh, common methods. The mm -hmm. majority of our transactions take place in these notes. Um, by uh, making them not acceptable, uh, you encourage people to close, uh, open bank accounts and use them. But bank accounts are promissory statements too. The banks promise to pay this much. If the government today suddenly said, OK, we won't accept any account more than 10,000 or more than this amount of money, unless these people who hold the account can prove, if the onus is on them, hmm. to prove that they are not racketeers. And and then we will pay them. Now, so it undermines the notes, it undermines potentially the bank account, it undermines the entire economy of trust. That's the sense in which it's despotic. It has legal aspects, which co of course could be challenged in a court, but it, uh, from my immediate point of view, it's an economic aspect. It's a disaster for an economy of trust, which makes a very big difference to the success of the Indian economy, which has been quite successful in terms of economic growth, though not in distribution, but economic growth for uh, more than 20 years now, the country has been growing very fast. But it's all based on the acceptance of each other's words. And by taking a despotic action and suddenly saying, we have promised, but we won't, we won't fulfill our promise, you hit at the root of it. So despotism had its economic price, quite aside from its implications in terms of the harassment uh, that is brought about by suddenly making normal legitimate traders potential um, holders of black money, potential racketeers, until they can show that they are not racketeers after all.